boundaries in football are just like a relationship. It's something you want, but you don't need. But I do need to get into a relationship, though, but my mind is just not in that simple format yet. Because, see, I'll wake up and be like, yes, she responded to me 17 hours later, so I'm going to make you wait 23 seconds. Boy, ain't no way, boy. On Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, NFL referees were on Tom Brady's side the same way Candace Owens was on Kanye West's side. It was ridiculous. I mean, referees couldn't take the fact that the Atlanta Falcons were on the verge of beating Tom Brady or the founder of the Skull Emoji. But history couldn't be broken because the win on Sunday was the 11th time Tom Brady has defeated the Atlanta Falcons in his career. But hey, good news. We did have some history that was broken, all right? Maybe just a little bit. I'm talking about the beauty of players' privacy was broken. I mean, ask Darnay Holmes because the whole world did not have to see a grown man's George's peach. And that peach was thick. What did you say? Pause. See, the refs did take a break, but no, they couldn't take it anymore. See, if it was the Dorito cut Von Miller and the Bills going against Tom Brady, there would be no flag. Or Patrick Mahomes with McCole Harmon, who's wearing about the wrong sevens, uh, playing against them again, it would be no flag. But the refs saw the Magic City Falcons doing their magic and said, no, you will not defeat Tom Brady, a.k.a. the handsome Squidward, and think you are going into that locker room eating lemon pepper wings. That is not happening. See, refs have been low-key ever since Lane Kevin pulled a blind uh, ref tweet a couple years back. And see, that was because they couldn't see anything. Now they're just calling anything they see or hear. So that's crazy. Look, a black and white subject already has been canceled. Please don't make it turn into another one. It kept going with Chris Jones on Monday night who was built like a semi-truck sack. Derek Carr, who does like the kid from Toy Story 2. I mean, what's going on? Does the refs want you to gently place a quarterback down the same way I gently place my blanket down on my bed when I make it up every morning? What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, that's my little comedy rant on NFL refs. Hopefully it gets better on Sunday, man. Proverbs 17, 22, laughter is the best medicine. Listen, man, y'all take care out there. It's your boy Caleb Jordan. I'm grinding. I'm going crazy, man. Voiceover, skits, sketches, all the comedy stuff with the sports going stupid, man. Make sure y'all take two for more. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.